There we go. Right. Hey, hey, people. Hello. Is everyone here? I mean, I know, I know certainly I am. <laughs> right, budge up, everyone. Budge up, budge up. Everyone budge up. There's a... There's a... Um... Oh, right, okay. Right, anyway, budge up, budge up. I'm coming in. Right, I'm in the stream. Fine. I'm streaming. Good. How is everyone today? Uh, we're on the final day. This is our final day of stream week, and then we're going back to normal. One live stream uh, a week from now on. Um, you know, it's been fun though, isn't it? You know, doing stream week. I think. Um, I think. I think stream week has been fun. I think. I think it's been a great success. I think. Yeah. Anyway. Um, How's everyone doing? Welcome back to stream week uh, number seven out of seven. This is our final one. Yay! I'm sweating already. Look at this. Oh dear. Oh, right. So, um, how's everyone doing? I hope you guys are well. And this time, we're not actually be doing a, uh, you know, for, for the final stream of stream week. I thought we're not actually going to be, um, we're not actually going to be like driving a train from one point to the other. We're just going to be playing around with lots of different trains. Um, and also, I um, have modded Train at Simmer World. I've um, given myself some new sound mods. And I've given myself God Mode, which I can uh, literally place any train down at any time and anywhere whenever I want. Uh, for example, uh, if I stand about here... If I go up here, and if I type in, oh, let's spawn in a class 47. Everyone loves a class 47. Um, see if this works. Spawn in class 47. There we go. And we get rid of this. <laughs> so now I can spawn down any train that I want. Hey, it's too bad I didn't discover this before because uh, you know because like Train Sim World 4 is going to have this option, so this mod won't be necessary in Train Sim World 4. So there you go. Anyway, we've got a good selection of trains. Look at what we've got. We've got um, this, which is a SD40-2. Uh, we've got a 8F. Uh, steam engine. We've got two uh, Jubilee uh, steam engines. And we've got a 4F Fowler, Class 33, 47, an ASC 64, um, which is slightly modded with better texture and much better detailed coaches with, uh, you know, much better texture, I suppose. And we've got an Acela, the Acela Express with a new horn mod. Ooh, very nice. Um, anyway, um, so, uh, what are, what shall we drive today? Well, we're going to be driving a lot of things today, um, but will this go wrong? Absolutely. Oh, we've got a first super chat of the stream from Green Fam Gaming. Hello, my f hello, my friend, my voice is going again. Hello, nice to have you here. Looks like James and Henry. Yeah, it does a little bit, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, we're, we're just going to be playing around with some trains today. Uh, so we're not actually going to be doing a job. Uh, Green Fam Gaming again, thank you so much for sending the super chat. How do you, how do you get the mod? Um, you got, well, um, to be honest, I actually had a friend of mine helping me out actually to, uh, get this mod. So I don't actually know myself, but he said all you have to do is just download this, put it into this folder, and away you go. You're good to know. So it is, it is um... Because like you know, I'm I'm still learning, so I don't actually know myself. Um, right, let's drive. Let's drive a train. Um, what shall we drive first? In, I want to drive the. Uh, we could drive this, couldn't we? Um, open the door and close it. Now I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a go. So passenger on. Brakes off, master key in, put it in, uh, we want to go in reverse, don't we? Um, hello again, hello train tech, nice to have you here, laser, uh, Nigel Gresley drive, Nigel Gresley drive, I don't have, I don't, Nigel Gresley's not in this game, um, I'm going to see Flying Scotsman on Friday, ooh, very nice, it's pronounced ACS64, 
Well, well, thank you. What map is this? I think this is the the re the dr driving cent training center, not <laughs> driving center. No, this is the training center of um of Train Sim World. So that's in reverse. That's like that. I'm just gonna see if it just. Add I'm just gonna see if it moves. I think that's the best idea. Of just seeing if the train actually moves first. Oh, it does. Okay, so that's good. And it's also amazing to see, like you can actually we can actually get an idea of the size of um, of the ACS sixty four compared to the forty seven. I mean, there is a noticeable size difference, isn't there? You can tell. So let's do a little two of the horn. Nice and slow, you're in reverse. So let's start all up. I don't even know if the points are set, but hey ho, if the points aren't set, they're not set. Although I think they need to be set. We can actually hear the generating firing up. I was running my Batman uh, ACS64 earlier today. Oh, how lovely. Oh, and I don't know if you noticed, but there's another mod that I've gotten as well. Um, Oh, before I get into that, we've just got another super chat from Trains4472. And it's his first time sending a super chat of one English pound. Thank you so much, Trains4472, for sending us your first super chat. Hi, Oliver. I have a 221 Backman Cross Country with lights. By the way, I uh, love the channel. Oh, my God. I was looking at one of those the other, um, last night, actually, on eBay. It's £300, but I really want one. Um... Right, let's turn the bell off. Um, yeah, there's there's another mod that I got for Train Sim World as well. If you actually look at the speedometer where my mouse is, you can actually see I've like there's a mod where you can you can actually add like little ears on the speedometer. So the the speedometer now looks like my headset. So right in right in the bottom on the on the bottom right corner, you can actually see the speedometer. It's got two little cat ears, just like my headset. So. Um, so, uh, on the top left of the screen, you, you've got me with my headphone cat ears, and on the bottom right, you've got my speedometer with cat ears. That's like the, that's the perfect laser jet mod, I think. Um, I think that's fantastic. Uh, can you try coupling the, AC, the ACS64 to British coaches? Sure, we could give it a try, can't we? Because I'm pretty sure Br the British coaches, they, they have knuckle couplers, don't they? Yeah, they do. I'll have to move it up, though. i move that, put the buffers in. Sure, we, we could actually, we can certainly give that a go. Should we do that? I mean, I don't even know where I'm going. Let's, um... I'm just, I'm just going to dump my coach. <laughs> dump? I'm just going to dump my coaches somewhere. So let's put it in reverse. I wish you had a... Cat, my friend. Yeah, cats would be cute. Oliver uh, is spent three hours shifting 1.5 tons of ash by shovel. By shovel. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. I'm on the chat. Yes, you are on the chat. Hello. So, is it possible just to play around in the game and just be silly? Well, we're certainly gonna have a go at it. I mean. I'm certainly going to have a go. And look at the texture of these coaches. They look absolutely amazing, don't they? Right, I think if we dump our train here. So apply an independent brake. This is going to be so weird. I'm actually, I'm actually hoping this will work, but I haven't got a clue. So let's... Um, the, knock, the knuckle coupler might be a completely different size, but we're going to have a go. Um... Now, is there a switch to uncouple? Oh, is it? Is, is that it? Did that uncouple? <laughs> I don't know. Couple? Oh, no, we want to uncouple. There we go. Right. Locomotive in forward, brakes off. Now we want to switch our points to the coaches. Now, where are the coaches? The coaches are there. So those points need to be switched to going into that one. And those points need to be switched there. Right, let's get moving. Um, oh wow, this thing accelerates fast, doesn't it? <laughs> um, right, let's see if this works. 
Oh, I'm speeding. Slow down. Yes, I know. Got to slow down just a little bit. I forgot there's a speed limit. But we don't want to go too fast. Uh, it's going to look so dumb if it works. I think it's going to look fantastic if it works. So I missed that. Sorry, I missed the other streams uh, on the other day, ladies and gentlemen. No, that's all right, my friend. Oliver, I have school tomorrow. Well, the next video will be posted in the afternoon. Okay. The map seems confusing. It is quite a confusing map. Once um, it's just, it's just one big circle, really. The map is just a big circle. That's all it is. Right. Gonna slow it down. I'm really nervous because I really want this to work, but I think maybe Train Sim or Dovetail has sort of made it so this should not work. But we're gonna have a go. Let's do a little two of the brakes. Two of the brakes? No, two of the horn. Why did I say two of the brakes? What's wrong with me? Oliver, I got a DCT controller today, but I can't change any addresses with it. Maybe it's defective. Oh, that is definitely not good. Right. Those are the knuckle couplers. There's, there's a massive size difference. Right. God, look how big these coaches are. Uh, wipers, we want them off. Um, look how look how look how big the locomotive is compared to the coaches. <laughs> oh my god. That is amazing. Right, here we go. Wish me luck, everyone. Let's see if we try and couple up. Trains4472 just sent another super chat of five English pounds. Uh, I'll read your message in a second, my friend. Let me just see if I can couple up. If this is gonna work. Here we go! Yes! It works! I'm hooked up! I am hooked up! Please, can you do a video when the Class 91 ret uh, retires on the London to Peterborough in the new Class 91 new livery, please? P.S. I'm your biggest fan. Well, thank you, Trains 472. <laughs> oh, my God. I, ca I cannot believe we're hooked up. I Honestly, I, I, I wasn't sure this was going to work. I, I was really convinced that this wasn't going to work. But we're now hooked up. But can we move? So, train in reverse. This is the big moment now. So if we accelerate to number one to three. So even though we're hooked up, brakes are off. <gasps> oh! My God! I am using an electric diesel thingy from America, and I am pulling British Mark One coaches. <laughs> now this is what Trade Sim World should be about. This is what it should be about. Go listen to the sound of those squeaky brakes. I cannot believe this worked. Right, let's hook it up to this bunch, shall we? That's what I would like to try and do. I, ca I cannot believe that this works. How cool is this? <laughs> this is, I mean, I've, I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again. This is probably the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> I can't believe how dumb but brilliant this is. What I, uh, put another train on the other end. Well, we're going to try and hook this up to the class 33. So we'll stop accelerating. And this should stop slightly. Yes, it should. There we go. Ooh, it's very squeaky. So, now we need to switch these points. And then switch these ones. And then switch those. Then train in forward. Yep, forward. And then do a two at the horn. And 
Let's accelerate. Is it going to move, though? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's moving. There we go. <laughs> it is so squeaky. Um, white. Sorry, blue, white, and red. Uh, blue, white, and red. Blue, white, and red? I said don't spam. Yeah, don't spam, guys. Um, we are going to turn a class 33 five train consist into a 10 train consist. Well, that's something to look forward to, isn't it? Uh, I still like my boss even after all the work, my Heritage Railway. Ooh. I still can't believe this works. I still can't believe this works. Um, have a Steam Loco pull the Acela coaches next. Uh... Steam trains don't have knuckle couplers, so I don't think I can. Unfortunately. Sorry, Azuma. Right, so. Let me get a shot. Can I actually go inside? Yes, I can. Okay, nice and easy. I feel like a real shunter now. It's like a bit of US mixed with UK. I feel like a real shunter. Okay, move a, a little bit more throttle. I missed the little rock railway. I do too, my friend. It was it was a good it was a lovely little railway that one was. Right, I better move out of the way. We are so close to hooking up. Bell off. Accelerate a bit more. Come on. This is the like the proper like time I'm actually doing free shunting in Train Sim World. Ooh, Bosh! <laughs> Ooh, that felt good. That felt so good. Right now, I reckon if we can we uncouple this. Uh, um. I don't think I can. I don't. I don't see like how I'm supposed to uncouple it. I think. It, I think it's now stuck. Oh, hold on. Oh, there we go. Yes. It's just very awkward. That's all. Right. Brakes off. And then if I move backwards. Oh my God, that thing accelerates so quick. Oh no! Slow down. Shush. Don't speed. No. 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 Easy, easy. I st I <laughs> I'm still gobsmacked of how amazing that worked out. I thought I thought it just, the game just like would not accept it, but it did work. Uh, right, one way to put a test train together. <laughs> uh, can you use the HHP8 next? Uh, I can't because the HHP8 annoyingly is not in this game. Oliver, you have uh, ninety-three thousand. 200 subs. Hey! 93,200 subscribers. Excellent. That's actually that's actually good. Okay, so now what we can do slow down very slightly. There we go. And we'll leave this locomotive here. Cuz now Oh, it is a bit of a walk. This is a this is a mistake on my part. But now we've got to take a nice long walk back to the class 33. Because I would like to get the I want to get the 33 on, out on the main. Um, but I think we should um, maybe hook up a steam train on the back. What do you guys think? Should we do that? I think we should. I mean, it's up to you guys. I mean, I'm just thinking out loud here. Uh, look on top of the train. It's got two horns. Two horns. Ooh, interesting. Please pull Amtrak coaches with a British steamy. Uh, please try it, please. Um, I did try it before, and um, that didn't work. So that's why I'm surprised that this worked earlier today. Well, I'm surprised this worked because I tried to, using a steam train pulling the and, and a seller coaches, and it didn't work. So the fact that I got an American train hitching up to British coaches, I'm actually surprised that worked because I did try it earlier before, and it just didn't work. Um, oh, and I, th I think we might have a problem, actually. Um... 
I don't think I can actually get the uh, steam engines out of the yard because the coaches are seem to be blocking the um, the way. But I tell you what we can do. We can pull the 33 out of the yard. We could do that instead, can't we? We'll, we'll, we'll try that. I think we should try that at least. I, I mean, I, I mean, I'm exploring a, a lot of new things here. I'm opening up the floodgates here. Try so. Oh, I hear a beeper. Why do I hear a beeper? Don't know what that beeper is. Let me sit. Can I sit down, please? Game. It's not let me sit down. Oh wait, there we go. Right. Uh, engine only. Master key on. Uh, it's stuck. The reverse is stuck. Why is the reverse is stuck? Master key is on. Brakes uh, off. Oh, I think I've got a situation. This doesn't want to work. Cab light on. I mean, I hear a beeper somewhere. Let's press control zero. Now, hold on. I can hear a beeper somewhere, but I don't know where it's coming. It's coming from this. It is. Oh, there we go. Master key uh, on. No, that's broken as well. We, okay, uh, I'm having a bit of technical issues at the moment. Um, what's this? Passenger? No, fitting. No, set to passenger. Brakes. So it's a normal because I don't know what that does. Battery switch. Oh, it's not working. It's not working. Why is it not working? If you put the Mark 1 between a steam locomotive. Uh, wait, hold on. If you put a Mark 1 uh, between a steam loco and an Amtrak coach, you might be able to put. That's not a bad idea, actually. By the moment, I can't do anything because my train is stuck. The 33 doesn't want to move because um, for some reason the reverser is locked on and there's literally nothing I can do. Um, right, okay, this doesn't work. Right, so what we'll do is we'll delete this consist. Um, we'll just delete it. Delete formation. There we go. Um, oh, hold on. And, and I thought I deleted this. Let's try that again, shall we? Delete formation. It's not working. Why is it not working? Delete. I want to. I want to delete you. Oh, it's not working. Oh well. No, nothing I'm doing is working. I guess that's what happens when you uh, when you mod. Um. Okay, well that doesn't want to work. Right, think, think, think. What can I do? Um, yeah, well, I tell you what. We'll try. We'll try that mark. We'll try the mark. The mark one coach theory, shall we? Um, we'll use a steam engine, right? So if I go to the mod menu thingy, whatever you call it, um, let me think. If we go to the top, and then if we go to class. 33 will spawn in a new one and then what we'll do is not do this at all that's what I should be doing really um, is that last coach blocking the line though that's what I'm worried about is it blocking the the the, the, the yard um. Yes. 
Let's see, if we use the ATF, can we get the ATF out? We can use we can use the ATF, we'll get the ATF out of here. We'll try we'll try the ATF. Um Right, where's the uncouple switch? I'm looking for an un oh, I saw something there. Where, where was that? There we go. I think that's I think that's uncoupled. Yes, there we go. The buffers are just like gone through each other. And get back onto the 33, delete that formation, and theoretically that coach should stay there. That's that's what I'm thinking. But I'm not sure if this is going to work. <laughs> right, sit back down. Is the master key going to work? No, master key does not want to work. That's fine. Well, it's not fine, but there we go. Now, delete formation. But is the coach still there? Yes, the coach is still there. Now we can get the... Um, we we'll get the AF. I like the AF. Let's get this one going. Is this one going to work? Yep, the reversal works for this one, so that's good. Right. Right, brakes off. Let's get moving, shall we? <laughs> okay. We're going to try and see if we can actually um, tow the Acela with a steam engine. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we're going to have a go, Moo. We're definitely going to have a go. Like, you know, I'm, I mean, I, at first you don't succeed, then give up. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right. I'm not sure this is going to work, but, uh, you know, we're going to have a go. So we're using that coach basically as like a, as a towing Wagon, if that makes sense. Why steam engines easier to drive than diesel? I don't know. Diesels are just very complicated. Right, let's um put our train forward. But then we need to switch the points. Points switch. And we're moving forward. I don't know why we're moving forward. I didn't set it to move forward, but there we go. Are these points set? Yeah, those points are set. Right, gonna go nice and easy. Well, as easy as I can possibly get. Is this a mod? Um, well, I'm using mods to do this basically. Or I would like, never, I've never, I would never have attempted to do this before. But there we go. Laser, you got to ninety-two thousand three hundred subs. Well done. Now, oh, thank you, my friend. Right, did you the whistle? If the cellar doesn't work, then try with the uh, ACS64. Got it. There we go. Right. Let's couple up to our coach. It's like how we're, we're using it as like a. I said this before, didn't I? Ooh. Is that going to couple up? We'll have to move the knuckle coupler down. Yes, we're hooked up. Right. Put you in reverse. <laughs> that was a bit of a bit of a oomph, wasn't it? A bit of a shunt that was, wasn't it? Right. Uh, can I ask why it's using kilo, uh, KMH? I don't know. It's it's set it's set to automatic. I didn't choose it. Um, if I could change it, I would definitely would change it to miles per hour. But um, frankly, I don't know how. Right, now this is the big test. Can we pitch up this to an Acela Express? That's the big question now. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I don't even know if this, is all, if this will work, though. But, I mean, I really want it to work. But, like, you know, I don't want to get too overhead of myself here. Which reminds me, we need to set up that coupling. There we go. Buffers in, coupling out. Switch the um, uh, points. Why is the points not letting me switch? Switch. There we go. And then, let's see. Those points look fine. These ones are not fine. Good. Training forward. 
And I think uh, breaks off. If we did it, bring this out to the loop and drive around. Oh my god, that's a good idea. That's a great idea. Right now. Moment of truth, people. Moment of truth, which reminds me, we need to uh, get the coupling ready for the Acela Express. So let's open up that the little hatch. Knuckle coupling out. Good. Um, and I'll tell you what, when that's open, it kind of looks like a HHP8 a little bit. Like, from the front, it, well, from the front anyway, it does look a little bit HHP8-ish. Set the cogs to close uh, when the train is in motion. Close, okay. All right, moment of truth, people. Moment of truth. This is going to work. I don't know. Using the AF or the Acela? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know though this is going to work. But, you know, we're just gonna, we're, gonna, we're giving it a try, aren't we? And I've got tremendous pins and needles in my foot. That's the p p bad timing to have pins and needles. Ah. Okay, applying my brakes a little bit. Oh wow, that, those, that's, that was only a little bit of brakes. These brakes are really... Brakes on a steam engine are actually really good. Apparently. Right, moment of truth. Here we go. Oliver, the, pla the planes are loud. Oh, the planes are loud. That's not good. Okay, here we go. Mark 1 versus the Amtrak Acela Express. Will this couple up? Let's find out. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Beautiful. Hello. Oh, we've got plenty of space. Um. Set the cylinder cost to open when stopped. Yeah, they're open. Okay, right. So now that we're hooked up, this looks so ridiculous, by the way. Um, I wonder what it will look like in first person. All you'll just see is it's just a coach. That's all you can see. Right, now that we're hooked up, but the big question is, will it move? So, train in reverse. Brakes are off. Two at the whistle. Oh, wait, hold on. We've got to set the points first. We want to go in there, don't we? Yes, we do. Here we go. Let's give us a bit of throttle. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw that. It was a, uh, it was a bit of a, a bit of a shunt, wasn't it? A, a bit, of, a bit of a, a, bit of a struggle that was. So we make it go forward. Oh, I don't think she's going to move. And put it in reverse. Oh wait, put it forward a little bit. Then put it in reverse. Let's give it one mighty shunt, shall we? So, here we go. Toot, toot, toot. Come on, old girl. Oof. Come on. Oh, I don't think she's going to move. I think it's because the brakes on this are still on. That's a good idea. John, that's a good idea. Why don't I just turn the brakes off? Can I actually, can I actually go inside? No, I cannot. Okay, let's close. Set some of the clock stop. Uh, close. Um, okay, right. Um... I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up here, because we're, we're, we are hooked up. We're hooked up, and I'm not giving up I, until I can find out how to get this thing moving. Um, I don't know what that does. Um, brakes off. I might have to go to the other end as well to switch to you know switch the brakes off. So just bear with me. It's quite normal. Well, actually, no. This is definitely this is definitely not normal. But. Um, I'm so curious to see how, to see if this is actually going to work. Uh, just join. What's happened? Um, many things have happened. Um, but something really remarkable that I've just found out has happened. 
Uh, I'm going to try and pull the Acela Express with a steam train. Right, brakes off. Well, we want this in neutral. Um, want it set to passenger. Okay, brakes off. And no, I think actually I think that's it. Uh, door close. Could be doing a lot of walking around in Train Sim World. Be uh, would be nice if we could um, teleport. I might have to go for dinner soon, so I might miss the rest of the stream. That's all right, Flying Scott Sam. Um, oh, we've got another super chat um, from Green Fam Gaming. Nice to have you back here, and uh, thank you so much for sending a super chat of two US dollars. Right, take two. Let's see if this works. Oh, we're rolling somewhere. Oh wait, no, we're not. Right, so here we go. Brakes off. And accelerate. Oh, we're moving. We're moving! I am pulling an Acela Express with a steam engine. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm doing it! Yeah. I'm doing it! I'm pulling a Cellar Express with a steam engine! I am pulling a Cellar Express with a Class 8F. Oh my lord. Oh. oh my god! I cannot believe this works. If that looks anything what it looks, look, looks like on stream. Oh my god. I cannot believe this works. So if we go all the way down to the end. It may not be it may not be the fastest thing in the world, but it, hey it works! Got like my little support coach. If I like stick out the whip my head out the window. <laughs> Cannot believe this is working. Pressure steam pressure's too low apparently. But it works though. Dude, what's what is this scenario? It's just something that I made up just by using mods. It's all good though, it's all working! <laughs> Uh, please be careful not to crash anything. Uh, I will certainly do my best. I'm going as easy as I possibly can. I just still can't believe this is working. <laughs> this is so cool. I mean, this this might look really bizarre, but hey, it works. This this is a new one. And look at the, look at the size of the Acela Express compared to the Mark One coach. It's, a, it's massive. But are we actually going to fit in this yard area? I, mean, I certainly hope so. Because actually, to, to be honest, um, I might have a plan. Um, oh. Oh, the coach is sort of phasing out of existence. That looks weird. I think we should apply my brakes now. Oh yeah, we, we, we can fit, we can fit. Uh, my brakes aren't working. Oh my god, stop! Stop! The brakes, the brakes used to be good, but now they're useless. Stop! Oh, I might have to move forward a little bit. Yeah, I might have to move forward. Actually, 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 no, I think we'll be okay. We've got plenty of room. Right, now we need to loop this up to the front. Um, oh, <laughs> no, don't do that. Right, um, uncouple. Then bring it backwards. Um, 
Oh wait, brakes brakes are still on, duh. It'll be helpful, Oliver, the brakes are off. Right, now we can close this hatch. Now I need to bring the coach into there, then uncouple the coach, loop round, break, pick up the coach and bring, yeah, right. A lot more shunting to do, more shunting, right, okay, um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, accelerator. It's very bouncy though, the, uh, the 8F. Right, I'll put it in forward, and apply my brakes. I, ne I would have never have attempted to do this before, but now that I'm using mods, uh, now I can, so there you go. Uh, switch to left. And then release the brakes, and then f put some acceleration on. Oh, not too much. Does a little bit of wheel slip. But yeah, um... Those of you who haven't already, why not consider subscribing to the Leisure YouTube channel? Because, like, you know, we do a lot of weird train sim stuff. Okay, and now we can leave my coach about there. This is absolutely amazing. I still can't believe this works. I'm going to keep saying this for the rest of the stream, but this is absolutely hilarious. Um, we actually almost have 200 people watching us live right now. So, hello, hello everyone. Um, this is amazing. Right, so... We can't do anything without that coach. That is our support coach, and we need that coach. So, um, so now if we accelerate to loop around, it's actually good that I'm using an AF because an AF is like the perfect um, steam engine to use it for this sort of thing. Then put the whole thing in forward. Apply the brakes. Get very good at this, aren't I? Switch points. Good. Brakes release and uh, not full throttle, but just a little bit. Ooh, careful, Oliver! Don't wheel slip. You know, I still remember when the uh, Spirit of Steam came out, and when I first tried it, and like when steam engines first came to Train Sim World, I thought to myself, "Oh my god!" Like you know, I'm never going to get used to this, but now I have, which is brilliant. Um, let's hit ninety-five thousand subscribers uh, for Halloween. Oh, yeah. That would be amazing. 95,000 for Halloween. If that's possible. I mean, how many subscribers are we at now? Like 92,200? So, it might be possible. I'm not sure. So, now I need to switch the points again. To... Yeah, no, that looks fine. <laughs> it's so weird that, you know, here I am driving a steam engine and then next to me, oh hello, we were in a Stellar Express. <laughs> what are we doing now? Well, I'm going to pick picking up the support coach, uh, so it's behind my tender, and then back up into the Stellar Express and then head out onto the main line and just tow it around. Just, just why not? You're at 93. Oh wait, sorry, I'm at 93,200 subscribers. Yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm losing my mind a little bit. This is the British. Sorry, uh, this is a British Railway SLS service to New York. Oh, is it <laughs> a British Railway SLS service? Now that's uh, something I've never actually heard before. Okay, now put the train in reverse. Brakes on. I'm actually getting quite good at this. Oh, Mark, Mark may have spoken too soon. Uh, yes, yes I did. I may have spoken a bit too soon. Because we need to switch these points. Right, train in reverse. Point switch. Wait, no, those are the wrong points. We want these ones. There we go. <laughs> Nearly caused my train to derail. Well done, Oliver. Easy, Oliver. Easy. Don't want to go too fast. Please check the points. Uh, I think the points are set. Good, looking good. The engine, the engine's whistle. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, standard LMS sound whistle. I'm excited for flying Scotsman. You and me both, my friend. You and me both. Get Red Jubilee. The Red Jubilee's parked in the um, in the. I mean, I guess we could go back and get it, but there will be a lot of walking to do. 
Right, so now, let me just check to see. I need, I need to switch the couplings, don't I? So this needs to be down, and the buffers need to be out. And this needs to be up, and the buffers need to be in. I tell you what, these Mark 1 coaches, you have to admit, they are actually very clever. What's your first model railway set? Because mine was Tornado. I think... I think it was a Peregrine train set. It was a Class A4. I remember it was a Class A4 train set. And I think it was Peregrine. Which is, I think, is it. Uh, America, when they see the AF in America, get out of the country. BR. BR. BR suck? Wait, what? No, they don't. BR doesn't suck, does it? We make better trains. Stop. Wait, what? Oh, I think we're getting into a bit of a dispute. Oh, just bumped, just bumped into the coach. Can we couple up? There we go. Right. Training forward. Les, I have a cold now. Oh, that is not good. I've had lots of them. I tell you what, I do really like it when um. Like when I like if I release the brakes, if I start accelerating, I love, I love the detail when the train like gets pulled like that. Like if I apply the brakes again, and then release and then accelerate, I love when the chain gets pulled. That is so cool. And you know, apply the brakes again. Right, I'll, I'll do this one more time, and then we'll get then we'll get back to work. But like, watch the watch the chain very carefully. I really do love this. This is a really cool feature in Dreams in World. So I release my brakes, accelerate. Oh, that's so cool! It's little details like that I love about Train Sim World. I tell you what, we'll actually open the roof as well. Why not? There we go. Got a bit of some fresh air coming in, haven't we? Please travel in the front six carriages of the train. Well, it's an Acela Express. They only have six carriages. He is listening. I am listening to the chat, guys. Well, I am reading the chat as well. And also, what we need to do is that we need to bring that pentagraph down as well. I. This is, probably, this is the best thing I've ever done in Trains in World. What's a nice feature? Oh, it's the chain tension in the, in the in the coupling. There's the other Amtrak. Put our train in reverse. Then get ready to stop. Oh, it breaks just a smidge. Oh, very squeaky brakes from the Mark 1 coach. Beautiful. Then switch this point, and then switch this point, and we are ready to hook up to the Acela Express. Let's do this! Very exciting. Uh, you are flat out wrong. The British trains are just as good. Oh wait, hold on. He's trying to. I think. I think. I think. Um, People are arguing in the chat. I hope not. Hi, I'm your big fan. Hello, my friend. Nice to have you in the stream. Right. Now, let's get this ready, shall we? So, open up the hatch. I've always wondered how the Acela nose opened up. That's actually really clever. Anyway, uh, I'm getting distracted here, Oliver. Do a toot of the whistle. Hi from Germany. Hello uh, to Mr. Germany. You won't need mods to do this in Train Sim World 4, though. That's very true. That's very true. But I'll tell you what, I don't know if you guys have noticed. Uh, I've said this already in the stream, but I'm going to say it again. Have you noticed that the speedometer has got cat ears the same as my headset is? Isn't that so? Isn't that clever? Right. Oh, I'll tell you what, this looks so cool. 
I feel like a real engineer now. 69 likes. We've got 67 likes, uh, according to the stream. Okay, dokey. Might have to bring it back just a little bit. I love how the pipe, like, wiggles around as well. Like, that kind of detail in a train sim game, that is, that is remarkably cool. So, accelerate just a little bit. And if I stop so suddenly... Like, you can actually see the wiggle in the pipe. That is a... That is brilliant detailing. Um, right, here we go. Gotta go nice and easy. Keep coming, keep coming. We're almost there, almost there, almost there. Yep, we're good. We're hooked up. Good. Right, now... We need, to, we need to lower the pentagraph. That is, that is just so cool. Uh, right, now... Pentagraph. We want to lower you. Oh. <laughs> I've, just, I've just switched pentagraphs. No, we want to we want to lower you, Mr. Pentagraph, sir. There we go, Pentagraph. Oh my God, there's actually sound effects when the Pentagraph lowers. That's really cool. Right, Pentagraph is now lowered. Oh, I literally just saw a Zoomer's message where it says, "Don't lower the Pentagraph." Sorry. Well, I just want to see. I just it's just an experiment just to see if this works. Brakes off, train forward. Now, we need to set the points to get to the main line. Now, this might be a bit tricky. Oh, we're moving. We don't want to move. We want to... Let's just stay stationary for a second. Stationary, brilliant. Uh, and I need to find the points that will take us onto the main line. So just bear with me, my friends. So those look good. These look good. I mean, we'll go nice and slowly, just in case we actually we accidentally end up on the wrong track. Right, brakes off, and that on, lights on. I'm ready to go. And let's start accelerating. See if this moves. Let's move. Well, let's move him. So now, the Acela Express, I think theoretically, because the Pentagraph is lowered, it should not be getting any power whatsoever. So, the Acela is not helping me move. Oh, well, apparently, apparently the generator is coming on. Don't know why it's doing that, but... By the looks of things, I am pulling this whole train just by using the 8F. Looks good. Right, we can close that now, can't we? So we try and go a little bit faster. Although the AFs, they're not exactly the fastest things in the world, are they? Let's hope this works. If not, then uh, we're doomed. This is probably the most bizarre thing I've ever done in Train Sim World. The AF is dead. It ain't dead, it's just getting up to speed. Um, steam pressure's low, that's not good. Let's lower the uh, reverser a bit. Another super chat from Hazard says, Laser, you should get the London Underground Bakerloo line sound mod. Oh, is it good? Because if it is, then I'll, I'll definitely consider that, actually. I'll probably get it um, after, after this live stream, actually. Well, good news! I'm pulling a, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling an electric Acela Express by using a steam train. Like, I, I to be honest, I didn't, th I, I didn't think we could do this. I really didn't think we could do this. But look at that. We have done the impossible. For the first time ever, I'm using a steam train to pull a high-speed electric train in Train Sim World. And I got another super chat from Greenham Gaming, just sending a super chat of five US dollars. Thank you so much, everyone, for sending amazing, generous super chats. Big shout out to you guys for sending super chats. Really do appreciate it. 
This isn't the fastest thing in the world, I have to admit. I'm going to try and see if we can speed up just, just a bit, but we'll have to wait and see. Right, passing through other trains, so do a two at the whistle. Coming through. Coming through, everyone, don't mind me. We're just, I'm just a steam train pulling uh, an American SLO Express. Don't mind me. Everything, everything's normal here. Just don't mind me, everyone. Everything's fine. This is amazing. We got the uh, ICE three. Look how big! The, look how big the Estella uh, Express is. The Estella Express is massive. It's just huge. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a giant compared to the AF. And the AFs, they are quite big steam engines here in Britain, but they're tiny compared to the little. They're so tiny compared to the uh, Amtrak Acela Express. Right, doing a top speed of 45 kilometers per hour. But I reckon we can go faster than that. But we'll have to wait and see. Right, now we are on the main line. Hooray! We are on the main, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I wonder what it looks like if I was like sticking my head out the window. Here I am, having a lovely time, sticking my head out the window, and all of a sudden, whoa, hello. This is so cool. I'm trying to try and speed up just a bit, get like a uh, some steam going in, in the uh, in the boiler. Our pressure is really low though, so we need to, like our PSI is ridiculously low. So we need the fireman and we need to put all our dampers up so dampers on full let me just have a look and switch the points again yeah the PSI is really low we need to find a way to um, build that up I think what I'll do is I'll stop accelerating for a little bit wait for the PSI to build up again because look how low that needle is that needle is like Really low. Well, to be honest, I was not paying attention to the needle. Well, also, you can't really see it anyway because the chat's in the way. But it's fine. That's the blower. We want that closed. So, both dampers are on. Getting some coal in the boiler. Turn the light, little light on. I think it's looking good. Try pushing the 8F with the Acela at speed. Ooh, that's a good idea. Should we do that instead then? Shall we um get the Acela Express some power and uh, push the 8F instead? And also, because I've got this mod, uh, I can actually change the camera. Um, so I can have a really wide angle shot. Or I can have a really super zoomy in shot. So, for example, if I press 3, I can have a really good close-up zoomy in shot of the wheels. Or I can have a really nice wide angle shot showing the whole rods. So that's what I do like about uh, this uh, this mod thing about uh, Train Sim World. Uh, people are saying yes. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll uh, we'll stop the train, shall we? Although the brakes aren't actually very good, so we'll put our brakes on full. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm trying to stop. If I put the train in reverse and then accelerate, that might work. It's not working. Nothing I'm doing is working. Oh, actually, no, we are slowing down a little bit. Let's put. The, we'll have to put the dampers off. Let's. Um, We'll, we'll, leave, we'll, we'll, we'll shut the coal down as well. But I think slowly but surely we are definitely um, we are definitely slowing down. I just want to get like a really cool shot. <laughs> I cannot believe this is working. Like, seeing it in Train Simulator Classic is fine, but seeing it in Train Sim World is brilliant. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. 
Not bad, I think. Right. We'll uh, put the locomotive in shutdown. Um, let's shut that door. Right. So now, if we go back into the cab of the Acela and power you up. It's quite weird seeing uh, the Acela, like, you know, all disused, like, you know, all quiet. So, Mr. Acela Express. How do we power you up again? Because I completely forgot. Master key in. Um, pentagraph. We want the pentagraph up, don't we? Let's see if that works. Is it control peak? Pentagraph. Open. Automatic. Pentagraph up press. Do I have to press it once? Or is it shift P? No, shift P is pentagraph down. Pentagraph up. Oh, I have to hold it down. There we go. Hey! Oh. Oh, the power's coming back on. <gasps> okay. Um, I'm getting, making myself nervous. Breaks off. I mean, I can't even see where I'm... I can't even see where I'm going. Oh, well. Um, let's see if this works. Throttle. Up. Oh, wait, hold on. I can't move, can I? Because I left the brakes on in the steam engine. Ah, I left the brakes on in the steam engine. My bad. My bad. Um... Brakes off. There we go. We'll have the rev regulator. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We were moving backwards. Did you guys see that? We were literally moving backwards. Right, okay, I've got to be quick then. Right. Brakes off. Run. Run, 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 run. Oh, it's moving. Get back on. Oh, just, just in time. Okay. So now that the brakes are off. Theoretically, this should work. So, throttling up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're off. We're off. It's moving. So, now I'm driving the Acela while pushing an 8F. You guys know what I'm thinking, don't you? Yeah, let's do it. Maximum power. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. I love your videos, so everyone subscribe. And let's hit 100k by Christmas. Let's hope so. Right, Mr. Acela Express. This is what you're built for. You're built for speed. Oh, that is a cool shot. So let's do a two at the horn. Oh, but I forgot to tell you, this is the new... Well, no, I did tell you, I just forgot to show you. This is the new horn sound effects I got for the Acela. <laughs> this is amazing. The chat isn't uh, bringing up my request. What is your request, my friend? Right, belt off. So do 106 kilometers per hour. <laughs> the AF is going to go mental now. Right, in the tunnel we go! Ooh, spooky! This is actually not a bad looking tunnel, actually. It's quite a cool tunnel, this. Oh, yes. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> I cannot believe this is working. This is so cool. I mean... <laughs> this is so weird! So instead of having the 8F pulling the Acela, we've got the Acela pushing the 8F. Time to see if the AF can go 150 miles per hour. Well, we're doing uh, 97, 98, 99. Doing 100 miles per hour now. Oh my god. This is a great idea. <laughs> this is so cool. Um, yeah, this is why you should. This is why you should subscribe to the Laser YouTube channel because we do a lot of cool, fun stuff like this. I mean, we're at 
93,209 subscribers. So one more subscriber and we'll let 93,210. So what's our speed now? 115 miles per hour. 116 miles per hour. 117. Oh my god. 118. 119. 200. Not 200. 120, sorry. What did I say 200? Forget I said 200. Forget I said 200. I meant 120. Doing 123. 124. 125. Can we beat Mallard's record? 126. Where is it? There it is. 126. 127. We are now going faster than Mallard. <laughs> oh my god. I am going to break this engine. I'm actually quite worried that this might derail, but I'm not so sure. Okay, doing 215 kilometers per hour, 216, 217 kilometers per hour. This is fast. And in the tunnel we go again. Oh my god, this is a this is amazingly fast. Uh, yeah, no swearing in the stream, guys. Come on. Doing 227 kilometers per hour, 228 kilometers per hour, 229 kilometers per hour, 230 kilometers per hour, 231 kilometers per hour, 232 kilometers per hour. Come on! Doing 146 miles per hour in an Acela Express while pushing an 8F. See a few German trains inside. I have lost sound effects for the. Uh, AF. Can I go over 160? We'll certainly try. I mean, we're doing 100, 151, 152, 246 kilometers per hour, 247 kilometers per hour, 154 uh, miles per hour, 155 miles per hour. Come on, come on, go. Come on, guys. Come on. I've never seen a steam engine go this fast before. That was a weird sound, wasn't it? Do you know what? I think I've just invented a brand new speed test for Train Sim World! How about that? Well, here's a little tip. If you want to do a speed test with, a, with any uh, engine you want, just get the Acela Express and just have it push it. The only thing, you, if you want to try British trains, the only thing that's required is a one uh, Mark 1 coach. So to speak. Um... We're doing 165 miles per hour, guys! 165! No, 166! It's going up! <laughs> like, I can't even, like, describe how fast this is. That is, that is stupidly and dangerously fast. <laughs> I don't know how the AF can cope with this. That is insanely fast. I mean, I think I think we're at maximum speed of 166 miles per hour. I think that is our top speed. I mean, I'm looking at the speed auto, I stuck at 266 kilometers per hour. AF abuse. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? I wish um, Train Sim World would release Mallard. I hope so too. It would be lovely to have an A4 on this. And in the tunnel it disappears too. <laughs> I can't believe how fast this thing's going. I think what we need to do actually, I've got a brilliant idea. I'm just going to see... By looking on the look at the map, you can actually see how fast we're going on the map. Like if I jump out about here, maybe I can get another train on the line. So I think just jump out now. There we go. Now that train is just going to go around forever because it's a it's an electric train. It won't stop. It will just continue going until the electric motor burns out. So now, um, oh wait, no, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go this way. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get another train and see what else I can do. Um, don't jump out, <laughs> please no. Um, sorry guys for jumping out. You can try jumping out on the train when we end. I want to see a railway, I want to see a, a, a runaway train. Well, I was thinking, what if we got another train on the main and have them smash into each other? People will do the thumbs up and I can imagine Harrison Ford giving me a thumbs up as I'm smashing trains in the face. It is quite a long walk though, I have to be honest. It's going to take a while for me to actually go anywhere. And we've got 170 people watching us live right now. Good. Um, turn to your little 66 over there. The 66 is actually tiny. Oh, wait, look. <laughs> you can actually see the train still going in the background. That is hilarious. God, it's gone through the whole map, like the whole circle, before I even have a chance of getting anywhere close to the, um, to the other engines. That is so weird. Um... That is, that's so cool. Right, I think um, what I should be doing is um, not be doing this at all. Um, I need to go back and get another train. Um, I'd like to do another towing service, but we'll have to see. Um, take the, IC, the IC3 the IC and race with the... Uh, oh, do the ICE3. That's a good idea, actually. I quite, I quite like that. Try and race it. Ooh. Maybe we could actually do our very first uh, world... <gasps> we could try and do our very first World Cup race. Germany versus America. Our first World Cup race in Train Sim World 3. Ooh. How about that? Now, to be honest, I don't actually know how to drive this thing. So, um... Just close the door. I might need help, guys, because I haven't actually have no idea how to drive this thing. Right, so if I sit down. This is a nice interior. Right, um. Main breaker. No. Uh, reverser. Forward. Um. Throttle. Sturdle. 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 Is Stiga's bad what? Wait, what's that? That's, I think that's cruise control. Brakes off. Throttle up. Oh. We're moving. Huh. That was easy. I thought it would be really complicated, but uh, I, I that was quite easy cause, because... I, I mean, I, th I thought it'd be quite complicated to um, to uh, to control because I thought you had to do like massive start procedures because you know it's German. It's talking German. All oh, right, okay, fair enough. Uh, can you switch the AF and the Acela to the outer loop? Yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, actually, no, I don't think I can because the switch point. Is off. Actually, no, I, th I think I can. Um, if I switch this, and then switch that, this should switch them to the other track, but I'm just worried that they with that derail, because I, I can't actually see where they are. Please don't derail. Well, they haven't derailed. I managed to switch them onto the other track. That's good. And switch them on. Good! Excellent. Well, it was a good thing too because um oh wait, hold on, I need to do my lights. Do a little two of the horn. Ace it says please stop ignoring me. Sorry, Ace, nice to have you on the stream, my friend. Um Will it derail? I have no idea. What happened to Thumper? Thumper's not in Train Sim World. It's a shame. I hope it I hope it will get into Train Sim World one day. Right. Approaching the main line. Here we go! I think it might be a bit of a disadvantage since the Acela Express, you know, is pushing a, like, you know, a few million ton steam engine on the front. Where, where are they, anyway? 
According to the map, they should be right behind me. Oh yeah, there they are. There they are! I see them! And they're doing a million! <laughs> oh my god! Guys, they're doing a million! That, that is, this is the best thing I've ever done in Trades in World History. Um, right, um, said so the AFB, I don't know what that is, I mean, I'm assuming that's cruise control, but there you go, could be wrong, um, and also, it's good that I can actually get a wide angle shot now, so I can actually see the whole cab, it's very, it's very handy, so do the two of the horn, I have to be honest, the ICE-3 is very sleek, isn't it? It's very smooth. Right, so, how fast is the Acela going? I think it was doing, I think, as we, as we remember, I think it was doing about... 226 kilometers per hour? I think, I can't remember. Switch the points back, or we will derail when we come back. Oh yeah, no, good point. Yeah, good, no, good, good, good point. Good point. Uh, good point. <laughs> that was no joking intended, I swear. Um, so yeah, I think it was doing about two hundred and twenty kilometers per hour. So I'm going to slow down to twenty to two hundred kilometers per hour. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for it to come round behind me and then pick it up and then give chase. Because where, where whereabouts is it? Because it's there, right? It's, 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 it's opposite to me, so I'm gonna slow down and just wait for it to come behind me, and then I'm gonna pick it up and then give chase. That's my thinking. We could go faster, although yeah, we could go faster actually. Um, you broke the gate. I, yeah, I've I've completely broken Train Sim World, and that's a first, well, I did it last. I did, I did it a few. I think it was like what a few streams ago where I like fell off the edge of the map, and there's the ICE one. It's very nice. Okay, it's catching up. It's definitely catching up now. Should be it should be coming up behind me any minute now. So I think we can actually start speeding up a little bit. Get up to 200 again. <laughs> this is so cool. I feel like a NASCAR driver. This is awesome. Right, let's slow it down a little bit. Okay, so that's doing about 220 kilometers per hour, so... Oh yeah, he, he, he's, he's, he's gonna be right on my tail. With a steam engine on the front. This is gonna... This is probably the most bizarre thing I've ever done. But probably the coolest! Listen, can you try to push the AF using the ICE-3, please? Well, I'm not sure, because the ICE-3 doesn't have a knuckle coupler, does it? I don't even know if I can get the uh, nose thingy open. No, I don't think I can. Anyway, speaking of which, where are they? There they are! I see them! And they're coming up, and they're coming up fast! Here we go! Ooh, 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 ooh. I can see them in the tunnel! Oh my god, they are guys, they are doing a million right now! <laughs> oh yeah, this is so. Oh, they're doing way more than 220 kilometers per hour. They are going to be right on me. Oh, here they come! Oh my god, that is so cool. This is the. <laughs> But I, they, are, they are going way faster than I am, though. I think they must have picked up some speed. <laughs> this is a, this is amazing. If those of you who think Train Sim World is boring now, think again, guys. Take a second thought, because like you know, this is what we do on the Lazy Jet YouTube channel. We find a boring game and we make it fun. <laughs> Oh, we are so nearly in sync. And like, oh, like, like normally when I'm perfectly in sync with another train, it should be lagging or a bit glitchy. But look how smooth it is. 
Right, let me go inside. <laughs> oh, yes! This is amazing! Turn the cab light on. Yes! I want to try and link speed, but like, I don't know if that's possible. Like, if I try and slow down, just, 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 only just a smidge moment, just a smidge. But you know, I've got, I have got the inner track. Oh my god, this is so cool. Right, release the brakes. <laughs> Let's hit the horn. Can't even hear my horn because it's so loud. So if I use my wide angle lens. Oh, that is a that is a cracking shot. Guys, uh, might want to throttle up a bit. Oh no, you don't, Nasala. No, you don't. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. So it's obvious that the IC3 is definitely faster than the uh, Stellar Express. But, um, but bear in mind, <laughs> the Stellar Express is still pushing a steam engine. <laughs> what have I created? I've created a masterpiece here. Let's try and sort of speed up to the uh, to the steam engine. There we go. This is the best. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this is a w how awesome is this? This is the best thing I've ever done. Right, pull my brakes a little bit. Hello, 8F. Nice to see you. How's it going? Look at that. And the thing is, I've never seen a race like this in such highly detail in a game like this. Like... Oh, oh, oh my lord! Oh, they're sort of speeding up again. Oh! Oh my god! That is so cool! This is just amazing. The question is, how am I going to stop those guys now? Yeah, mate, how's it going? Oh, hello. I did, I did not notice those things turning before. Right. Now, time to end with a bang. So, what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to go to the map and switch these points over. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop accelerating. And we're going to end with a, with, with, with a humongous crash. So we're going to slow down a little bit. So everyone, brace yourselves because there comes a massive crash that I've ever done in Train Sim World History. So brace yourselves. Get ready for a massive crash! Here, come on, come out the points. Here we go! Whoa! They were untouched! They were untouched! The Acela Express was completely untouched. Oh my god, that was amazing. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's weird. Like, I mean, I went absolutely flying! Oh man, <laughs> that was the best thing I've ever done. Right, um... What I want to do as well before we end the stream is I, I want to try and test something because I um I have actually made something with the Acela Express but I just want to see if um if it works so just bear with me because um we we'll use uh clear weather because it's just uh it's just a custom livery I made with the Acela Express and I just want to see if it works. Well, I just want to see if it works. That's all. Just just before we end the stream, um. But that was that was amazing. That was great. Cannot wait to try some stuff. stuff. Cannot wait to try stuff out like that on Train Sim. <gasps> Should be amazing. Jubilee class at speed versus the Flying Scotsman. Now that's something, isn't it? 
Right. Um. Oh wait. Hold on. Um. I started on the wrong end. Um. Let me start from the other end. Sorry, guys. A little bit of a delay. Whew. Um. Where was it? Timetable. Personal. That. No. The, that. That. Uh, is it this one? I think if it's the same one, I'm gonna be annoyed. Um, is it Eurostar? Uh, yeah, it's my custom Eurostar that I've been making for the Seller Express. So I just want to see if it works. Um, I might have spawned in the same station. If I did, then I'm an idiot. Yeah. Oh, I would. We'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just start from here. Why not? Um, just want to see what it looks like. Um, okay, it doesn't look that great, to be honest. Let's just, um, open the doors. We'll let pass... Like, well, once we get outside, we'll, um... We'll, we'll, we'll definitely be able to... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What what are the people doing? <laughs> this game is so broken. Um... See, look, it's a normal Amtrak, like, you know, the the, the, you know, the default one. So that's 2005. What number's mine? Oh, wait, no, mine doesn't have a number because it's the Eurostar. Duh. Um, right, all aboard, everyone. All, all aboard the... Uh, what's the longest live stream you've done? Um, I don't know, actually. Probably two, three, four hours. Breaks off. And we are... It says I've got to wait. Oh, mate, I'm not waiting. I'm busy. Okay, now we're off. Bell off. And I'm just going to go straight out of here and just get to the outside so I can actually have a look at my livery that I've currently... Well, I think I'm still currently making it, but, um... But still, I think it's 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 the it's it's the best that, I, that I've got at the moment. Um, yeah, because at the moment you can hardly see it. Well, no, you can just about see it. But again, it's it's not it's not finished yet. I think you can already guess what it looks like anyway. Um, but I think this 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 has been a great stream for train for train sim world to be honest because. Um, and look at that. I'm already two minutes ahead of schedule. Because normally I've been late. Why is the Acela Express wearing the Eurostar paint skin? It's because I uh, I made it. And I just I just wanted to see what it would look like. Do the Eurostar livery on a TGV. Actually, that's, that, that does make more sense, actually, using a TGV. But the problem is, the TGV, it's got double-decker coaches. That's the problem. So if I used a high-speed train that has non-double-decker coaches, I just think it would look a lot better. Why is that? Th why is it beeping? Shut up. Hey Oliver, are you going to be making a video that did court hall gala? Yes, I'm going to be going on the 23rd, which I believe is a Saturday. My warning thing's coming up. I'm going to Didcot Railway Centre on the 23rd so I can do some more amazing filming at the Hall Gala event thing. That's that's what I'm going to do. Um, after this live stream, I, I really want to get a back um, HO Acela. Do you know what? I actually want one now. Hey, we're outside now. And here is my custom um, livery. Of my Eurostar by using the Acela Express. Now, I know what you think. Oh, it's just hiccuped. I've just got, just got beeps everywhere. Um, now, I know what you're thinking. Um, I know, it looks it looks slightly rubbish. But I'm really pleased with the Eurostar logo on the side. And, um... Well, I, 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 I think it's alright, given the circumstance. The coat... Oh, just hiccuped again. I've just got hiccups now. I can't stop hiccup. I can't talk now because of the hiccups. Um, I I admit the coaches actually look quite amazing, but 
the actual locomotive itself. Where's that beeping coming from? Shut up. Oh, and I'm... i got the hiccups now. You should try uncoupling the trains when, move, when moving. Um, I do, and the whole thing just goes berserk. Um, oh, dear. Oh, God, we got a train in front of us. Oh, my God. Oh, oh the game ended just before... Um, just before we had a chance to crash into it. Well, that's a perfect way to end the stream. <gasps> oh, I can't stop. I've got hiccups now, guys. I can't get rid of the hiccups. I'm definitely ending the stream now. Because I've got hiccups. Um, take care, everyone. Um, I'm going to make this intro very short. Thank you so much for watching. Click subscribe. And I'll see you guys again next week for, for, um, for you know... A normal live stream. There will be no more um, stream weeks now uh, this year. Uh, um, what was I going to say? Um, um, yeah, thank you guys. Amazing. Uh, thank you guys all for being amazing on um, on stream week. We've um, we, we've we've had a good. We've had a good time on uh, on the stream week, so um, thank you all so much for watching. Um, have a wonderful uh, weekend, because like I can say that now. Um, but like you know, I, I've had a lot of fun. This this is this stream has been absolutely amazing. Uh, thank you again so much again for like you know for all the super chatters, donators, and um, like you know for helping support the Laser YouTube channel. But like if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It it will really mean a lot to me. Um, but yeah, take care everyone, and I'll see you guys again next week for another live stream. So take care, and you know, stay awesome guys, and I need to find a way to get rid of these hiccups. So yeah, um, I got so overexcited, uh, I hiccuped myself myself for being overexcited. Um, but take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now guys, see you guys soon, bye! <gasps> oh dear. Oh, the Green Fam Gamer just sent a super chat of two US dollars, and he says bye. <gasps> Bye, um, Green Fam Gaming. I think so much for another for for for, your, for for another super chat. All right, I'm off, guys. Bye.